Welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to share you some uh, effective strategies how to become a clever student or how to become effective in your study, right? So becoming a clever student just requires a combination of uh, effective strategies and consistent effort and habit also, right? But in this video we are going to see a step-by-step -step guide with detailed explanation to help you to become clever, right? The first step is set clear goal. You have to have a clear goal. You have to start by setting clear goal for yourself. What do you want to achieve academically, right? You have to be specific and create a long-term and short-term goal, right? Because this will just help you stay motivated and focused throughout your academic journey, right? Strategy number two, develop good study habits, right? Because to become a clever student, it's crucial to develop a good study habit. Here are some just effective strategies for studying. For example, create a study schedule. You have to allocate specific time slot for studying different subjects, different courses, different materials. This just will help you to stay organized and manage your time effectively, right? And find a quite steady environment. Find a quite steady environment. You have to look for a quiet place where you can just concentrate without distraction, right? This could be just a library, maybe a quiet room at home, or maybe any uh, peaceful location, right? Take regular breaks, right? Whenever you need it. So break just your study sessions into manageable chunk and take short break in between, right? Right? In between your study in your reading, you have to take a regular break, right? This will help you to maintain just focus and prevent burnout, right? Uh, to maintain just or to prevent stress. Use active learning techniques. Use active learning techniques. That means instead of just uh, passively reading or listening, you have to engage in actively le learning techniques such as maybe you have to summarize the materials that you studied or read. You have to teaching, you have to teach the course, the materials that you read, cover. You have to explain the concept to somebody else, right? Maybe for your classmate, for your friend, for your kid, or whatever the person that you pick it, right? This will just enhance your understanding and retention, right? And practice regularly. Practice it regularly, right? You have to regularly practice, right? Daily, daily, or maybe weekly. You have to, regular practice is the key to mastering any subject or anything. A repeating is the master of anything, right? To study anything, you have to repeat again and again as much as you possibly can, right? As much as you possibly can. You have to solve practice questions, uh, work on sample paper, or participate in online queues to reinforce your learning, right? You have to just use different platform websites. For example, in this day, YouTube and just uh, YouTube is the best place and Google is the best place that you learn faster. You can search anything that you want, any videos that you want, any, you can Google it, any, any, anything you want, right? So you have to use, you have to leverage different platforms for your better outcomes, right? A strategy number three, improve time management skill, right? This is the key. Time management skill means life management. I tell you in the another videos, right? You have to improve your time management skill. Effective time management skill is crucial to become a clever student. Not only to become a clever student, to become clever in business or to become clever in whatever is the field that you are working, right? Here are just some strategies to manage your time effectively, right? Or efficiently. The first one is prioritize tasks. Right? You have to identify your most important task or maybe you maybe pick the most difficult course material, right? And prioritize them accordingly, right? And also you have to focus on completing highly priority tasks first, right? You have to just uh, prioritize that, 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 that task or that course. And you have to use planner or organizer. 
use a planner or organizer. That means utilize a planner or digital organizer to keep track of assignments, deadlines, and other important tasks or other important dates, right? Because this helps you to stay on top of your work and to avoid last minute rushing, to avoid last minute stressing, overwhelming, right? The other one is avoid procrastination, right? Avoid procrastination. That means procrastination is just can't hinder your academic progress, right? And it's to complete tasks in a timely manner rather than putting them off until the last minute. And break tasks, tasks into smaller steps. Break tasks into smaller steps. Take notes, right? If you are if you have just a large assignment or a project, you have to break it down into smaller steps or milestones, right? This will make it more manageable and less overwhelming, less stressing, right? A strategy number four, improving, improve not taking skill, right? Improve not taking skills. That means developing just a not taking skill can greatly enhance your learning experience. Here are some steps. The first one is stay organized. You have to keep your notes organized by using heading, subheading, bullet points, and numbering. This will make it easier to review and revise later, right? You have to use your phone, your device, your PC, different folder for each material, right? You have to organize them in proper manner because unless you just organize them in a proper way, you get stressed, right? You just not be organized to read the course that you want to read. You will be just stressed, right? The other one is actively listen, right? During a lecture or class discussion, you have to actively listen and just identify key concepts, examples, explanations by your lecturer, right? You have to note down relevant information accurately and concisely, right? The other concept in this note taking is review and revise, right? Regularly just review your notes to reinforce your learning and summarize and condense the information to make it more digestible for our future reference, right? Strategy number five, seek help and collaborate, right? You have to seek help and collaborate. That means never just hesitate to seek help or collaborate with others when needed. Just here are just some strategies how to seek help and collaborate. The first one is ask question, right? If you have just any doubt or question, ask your teacher, a classmate or online communities or maybe different platforms, for example, YouTube, Google, right? To get the answer, right? You have to clarify your doubt with, will enhance your understanding. If you just Google it, if you just get a video to understand that course, it just enhance your understanding, right? The other one is form a study group, right? You can form a group to study together with your friends, maybe. You have to engage in a study group with classmates who are equally committed to access or your academic success, right? And also you have to collaborative learning allows for maybe sharing knowledge, maybe discussing idea and gaining new perspective, right? The other one is utilize tutoring or academic support. If there is, if you are just struggling with certain subject, consider seeking tutoring or academic support. Many schools and universities offer resources to assess struggling students, right? A strategy number six, stay motivated and take care of yourself, right? Maintaining your motivation and taking care of your well-being are crucial for success. Here are some strategies how you are just stay motivated and take care of yourself. The first one is reward yourself, right? Set mini reward for achieving your short-term goal because it will just help you stay motivated and focused on your studies, right? The other one is maintain healthy lifestyle. That means get enough sleep, eat nutrient meal and exercise regularly, right? A healthy lifestyle enhance your just cognitive function and overall well-being. 
and practice mindfulness and stress management. That means engage in mindfulness activities such as maybe meditation or praying or deep breathing to reduce stress and enhance your focus. Celebrate small wins. You have to acknowledge and celebrate your achievement along the way. This will just boost your confidence and keep you motivated to keep working harder, right? Remember, becoming a clever student is just a continuous, right? It, it is not just, you cannot just master it within a week or within just a month, right? It's a continuous process. By implementing these strategies and consistently putting effort into your studies, you will gradually see improvement over time. You have to stay committed to your goal, believe in your potential, good luck.